I made a, a new stator for my uh, vault, but unfortunately, uh, this new stator uh, is not working out the way I want it to work out. Uh, the wires on the stator is 20 gauge, and I have six coil for the stator. Uh, unfortunately, uh, after I mounted the stator into my alternator, uh, I found out it couldn't give me the uh, the power I needed. Basically, uh, you need a lot of RPM to get this uh, to put out any kind of uh, voltage. And with the setup that I have, uh, it's not going to do that. Uh, it needs uh, maybe like 150 RPM really to work well. And I just don't have that kind of uh, RPM uh, most of the time. Uh, I would think uh, I would probably need three times as many coils to make it work. That would uh, probably make it at least uh, 18 coils or or at the very very least 12 coils and if it is 12 coils I would need uh, 16 magnets and if it's 18 I would need uh, I think 24 magnets so it would be a big stretch from what I uh, had in mind so I have switched back to my old stator my old stator is uh, 27 gauge wires and uh, three or 400 turns, uh, probably about 400 turns. And with it, I've been able to get decent voltage, not great uh, amp output, uh, but it actually is, is not too bad. Uh, At about uh, 60 RPM, it will light up uh, these 10 LEDs. And if it goes anywhere, you know, like uh, 120 RPM, it's actually uh, pretty bright. It would go up to close to 30 volts. So this is actually more suited to my uh, design for the vault. Uh, usually, when you have the vault installed, the alternator is not going to turn as fast as when you're spinning it by hand. When you're spinning it by hand, this is actually very, very fast uh, in actual uh, situation. It's just not going to do that uh, on a regular basis. So, I'm going to switch back to this old design. And uh, someday, if I have the uh, the nerve to handle those big magnets, and if I have, uh, I guess, more time, I would uh, try maybe something close to like uh, 18 coils. I think uh, that would give me something to work with at uh, low RPM. So. I'm going to put this back. You can see uh, at the rate I'm turning it now, you get 25 volts. So, 20. So, 10 LED at 3.3 volts. If you were to like this to full capacity, you'll need like 30 something volts. And, uh, right. So, that's pretty bright. And, uh, I think they're like 25 milliamps each to light up in uh, full capacity. So it's a few hundred, uh, a few hundred um, milliamps. Probably put it about five watts or so. Uh, if I get a decent wind, which is not bad uh, compared to this data. Uh, I am get, getting close to nothing because it just won't turn that fast. So, back to the old uh, alternator.
thank you for watching. It can give me some decent output if I crank it really fast. Of course I'm never gonna get that kind of wind. So that's it for now.